Hi, in this video, I'm looking at some right angled triangles and trying to determine unknown sides using trigonometry. So these are problems such as my first one, which I've got this right angled triangle here. It's a right angled triangle, it's got a right angle in one of the corners. I'm going to label one of the other angles to be something, in this case 61 degrees. I'm going to label one of the sides, in this case this side to be 9.6 centimetres. And my last side I'm going to leave as an unknown x. So this means that I've got this side unknown that I'm trying to find out. I don't care about this side, nothing's labelled on it. Now. The first step in this is to label our triangle. Now we label our triangle with three sides, hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. The hypotenuse is the long slopey side of the right angle triangle, the one that's opposite the right angle, it's got nothing to do with the right angle. It's always the hypotenuse. So I'm going to label this triangle hypotenuse. The next side we label is, or one of the sides we label at least, is the opposite. And it's from the angle that's being given to us, or that we care about, opposite all the way through the triangle, which side is opposite on the triangle, and that's our opposite side. And so that leaves our last side, which is the adjacent side, and because it's the adjacent side, it means it's beside the angle. So it's the one immediately beside this angle, which we'll call the adjacent side. And so now that I've labeled my triangle, I can identify which sides I have information about, so which rule do I need? So looking at this, I have uh, my opposite side, it's x, I, well I don't know it, but it's something I'm trying to find out, so it's something I effectively know, it's my unknown, I know it's my unknown. I've got my hypotenuse, it's 9.6 centimeters, I do not have my adjacent side. So what I need now is which rule has the opposite side and the hypotenuse side in it. And that would be the sine ratio. The sine ratio goes sine of the angle in the triangle is the side opposite divided by the hypotenuse side. So we write down our ratio after identifying it's the one I need, and then I substitute my numbers in. So to do that, sine is just sine, but where the theta in this is the Greek letter theta, I put in my unknown angle in here, which is 61, so, or 61 degrees. You usually don't bother about the degree symbol when you put in your calculator, but it's good to write it into our working out. So then I go and put in the right-hand side. I've got my opposite side on top, and my opposite side we said was x, our unknown and then I'm going to divide by the length of our hypotenuse, which was 9.6. And so now I've just got to isolate this x because I want this x to be on its own on this side of the equation, or on the side it's on. So I've got to get rid of this 9.6, and we are dividing by 9.6, so to remove it from this side, I've got to multiply by 9.6. So I'm going to bring this over here and multiply by 9.6 onto my sine. So on my next line of working, I'm going to have 9.6 multiplied by the sine of 61 degrees. And I can go and type this all into my calculator now. 9.6 times by sine, 61. I don't need to put the degree symbol in. And that will tell me that our unknown side here, x, or our opposite side, is approximately 8.40 centimeters. So that's it. I've now got my unknown side by working out what sides I've got, picking the correct ratio, substituting in, solving, getting our answer. Let's have a look at a second one. So what if I've got this right angle triangle here, so it's a right angle there. I've got that this side is 7.8 meters. This angle in here is 41 degrees. And this side here is going to be my unknown. 
So I still follow the same process. I identify what's my hypotenuse. Well, it's my opposite side to my 90 degrees. It's the one that doesn't involve the 90 degrees, my long slopey side. If I rotated this around, then figure out my opposite. So I go from the angle, opposite side through the triangle. That's my opposite. And then my adjacent is the one next door. So that's going to be my adjacent. So now looking at the sides I have, I don't have anything about the hypotenuse. I have my opposite side and we have our adjacent side is the unknown I'm trying to find. So I need to go, okay, what trig ratio has opposite and adjacent in it? Well, that would of course be our tan ratio because tan of the angle in the triangle is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And so now putting my information in, I've got tan of the angle in our triangle, which is this 41 degrees, equals our, our length of our opposite side, which is this 7.8. So put our opposite side of 7.8 in over our adjacent side, but our adjacent side is unknown, it's just x. So now we've got to work out what is x. Now x is on the bottom this time. Now when x is on the bottom, we've got to do a couple of algebraic steps, but most people just shortcut this to one. The full process is that this x multiplies up in front of the tan, and then you would divide the tan below the 7.8. And so we can just do that all in one step. So we don't bother doing it straight away. We just go, well, the X is going to move over to this side and the tan is going to move underneath my denominator, well, underneath my line and become my denominator. And so my tan of 41 degrees is going to be below our 7.8. And so now I can chuck this into our calculator and we can get that the x value will be about 8.97 and our units were meters. So that's two, one of the sine and one of the tan, and one has a little bit extra tricky step to solving, but that's okay, we can work with that. Let's go and have a look at another one then, shall we? So let's move over here and let's have a look at this problem here where I've got a third one. So we're gonna have this right angle triangle here where this side is 3.46 millimeters. This angle here is going to be 32 degrees. And we're gonna have this side here, and this time this one's been labeled F. We can label them whatever letter we like. So now we go through, label our triangle. This side's my hypotenuse. My opposite side is this side down here. And my adjacent side is our F. So looking at what we have, we don't have anything about opposite. I do have my adjacent side and I do have my hypotenuse side. So which trig ratio has adjacent and hypotenuse in it? Well, that's our cosine ratio which cosine of the angle is the length of the adjacent divided by the length of the hypotenuse. And then putting our information in, cos of 32 degrees is going to be our adjacent side, which is F in this case, divided by our hypotenuse, which is 3.46. And so now we're dividing by 3.46. I want to isolate the F. So I can multiply by that 3.46 in front of our cos of the angle 32 degrees, and that's going to leave us F. Plugging this into our calculator, we get that F will be 2.93 millimeters. Okay, let's just have a look at one last quick one. So if I have this little right angle triangle here with this angle in here and sort of draw it in there is five degrees this is p and this is 120 meters so it's not even all that little it's quite a long length here and this is our right angle it's not a perfect right angle um, that's just my poor drawing skills 
So let's label our sides though, our hypotenuse. This is our long slopey side. Our uh, opposite side, well, this is our angle here. And so opposite, it will be our 120. And our adjacent side will be just here, the P. So now looking at what we have, I don't have the hypotenuse. I do have opposite and we do have adjacent. And so that means that we've got opposite and adjacent, so we've got the tan ratio again. So when we've got the tan ratio, we know that it equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. And so filling our information in, we've got five degrees as our angle, and our ratio is 120 for opposite over P for adjacent. Again, our unknown's on the bottom, and remember when our unknown is on the bottom, the P or the unknown can swap with the trig ratio and the angle on this side. So the trig ratio is going to move down the bottom, and the 120 is going to stay on top. So we can put that on there and plug it into our calculator. We can find that P is 1,371.61 meters. So there we go. If we have a right angle triangle, and we want to know an unknown side, label the sides, work out which two you have, which one you don't have. The two you have tell you which trig ratio you have, whether it's sine if you've got opposite and hypotenuse, cosine if you've got adjacent and hypotenuse, or tangent if you've got opposite over adjacent. Plug in your numbers, do whatever algebraic process is required. That might be just multiplying the number in front of the trig ratio, or it might be, if the unknown's on the bottom, swapping the trig ratio and the unknown.